Damien, welcome to the club. It's the first chance we've had to, to get to speak to you. You've been in the role for just over a week now. How does it feel? Uh, brilliant. Very tiring. Uh, it's the first time in my life I've done proper hours. Probably in at eight in the morning, home for five or six. So um, uh, you don't see that side of it when you're a footballer. So um, no, it's brilliant. I'm retired three, three and a half years, I think. And the one thing I think you miss uh, when you've retired, not as much the football, it's the focus, the 24-7 bit of it. So um, I've got that back now, I guess, in my life. I can't switch off now when I go home, when I do eventually get home. Um, but no, it's been brilliant. Uh, I've really enjoyed it. What were the attractions for you coming here? Uh, just the club. Um, you know, my wife and my kids, I've dragged them out of school, they've come with me. And I guess there's no other place in the world, any other club that I would have uh, left Ireland for. So at the minute, anyway, in my, in my coaching career. So the minute the club asked me to come over and interview, which was a very tough process anyway. Uh, thankfully, I got the job, um, so it was an easy decision. And uh, thankfully, my wife and kids were happy to come as well. So they're settled in school and we're all good. Some clubs, the, the reserve team and the young players don't really get much of a chance to play in the first team, but that's not the case here at Celtic. You can see there's a number of players who are, who are performing really well for, for the first team. Was that a big attraction as well, that there is a clear pathway here right to the top? Definitely, yeah. Obviously, I, I know the gaffer uh, from quite a long time ago. What was it 15, 16 years ago from his time as Chelsea? I know the way he plays and I know that he'll promote youth. So, um, yeah, you obviously got the, the three, I guess, big hitters in the, in the first team now that have come through the, the Ninians programme and through the academy. And obviously a few knocking on the door now. Hendo's been away with them and hopefully he'll be involved in, in some part on Saturday. And, uh, yeah, there's obviously my lot now as well. So, um, listen, I'm on them all the time out there. They're probably sick of me. I'm full on. Uh, but hopefully they'll realise that it's only because I care and I, I'd love to see them. I'm only here, what, 10 days? I'd love to see them get a run in the first team. So um, I'd be proud even though I probably have played a minor part in it. I'm sure you inspire the young guys just by, by being here, the career that, that you had as a player. When you look back to yourself at the, the stage of your career that they're at, who were, the, who were the people that inspired you? Well, obviously a, a winger. I, I started off at Blackburn. Um, and I was just fascinated by Ryan Giggs, the way he moved, the way he dribbled. So me as, as a winger, that was that. But it was just the coaches and the surroundings I had, the learning environment at Blackburn. I had Alan Irvine, uh, an amazing coach, an amazing man. And uh, he played up here for, he, he's obviously Scottish, he's top class. And I was just surrounded by, by great people. Kenny Gleish was manager at the time at the Blackburn. Just reminds me of this here now. You know, Tommy McIntyre's been brilliant with me, Chris McCart, uh, obviously Brendan, Chris Davey. So, for me, as a, as a young coach, it's a great learning environment and hopefully, you know, the players appreciate that as well. They're surrounded by good, top, passionate people. The, the academy here is a very well-oiled system. It's very successful in producing players who go on to have a career in, in the game. What do you think are the biggest challenges that face young players who are, who are trying to break into to a first team? I don't think money has helped over the years. Down south, you've got young lads in academies and, and reserves and they're on thousands, millions a year and they don't need to go and play first team football, their, their life is possibly made. So it's just that obsession that, you know, when I was 16, it wasn't money or anything that drove me, it never drove me when I was at Chelsea winning a couple of league titles, it was just the love of the game and the obsession and I think at times nowadays it's, that's lost maybe on kids. Um, I think they can do more, and I'm not talking about Celtic kids, I'm talking about kids in general. They just do enough, but I said, I'm full on and I'll drive my lads crazy, but I just always want more. Um, so enough isn't enough with me. Um, that won't make a career. You don't come in and, and just go home. Uh, you have to come in and, and empty the tank every day. And, and I suppose for, for young players, I mean, when, when you grow up wanting to play football, you try and be the best you can be. But I suppose at the age, when they get to the age that you've got the guys at, they, they realise that perhaps not the best ones make it, but the ones that work the hardest. Definitely, yeah. Um, you know, I think the, the phrase Gaffer used, I used it back home in Ireland, it's the silver medalist. You know, it's probably the ones that are top the whole way through and they start to smell themselves, they get a nice deal. They're always told how good they are. It's not usually them that kind of comes through. It's the, the lads just simmering underneath that will run over their granny, say, just to, to have a career. And that would have been me. And um, I said, I'll try and hopefully instill it into the lads here. It's, yeah, you can have all the ability in the world, but if you don't work hard, there's no point being here.
What, what, what about yourself, your own, your own ambitions? Do you kind of feel in a way a bit like these young boys, they're starting out in one element of their football career and you're starting out in a different element? Absolutely, I said I'm only a baby, a novice in coaching terms, so I'm not claiming to know, know everything I'm here to learn. Like I said, it's a, an amazing learning environment and I just want to be a, a, a top coach and see where that takes me, whether it's managing or what. So um, I am, I'm only starting now. Uh, when did I start 10 days ago? Nervous on my first day, still a bit nervous now, and I don't think that will be changed. Uh, nerves are good, and I said, I'm just here to learn and get better and, and help people. It helps as well when there's such a feel-good factor about the place because of the, the success that the first team has had in recent years. Definitely, yeah, it, it always helps, and I think a lot of that is down to the gaffer. Um, he's top class, he's one of the, the best managers in the world, that's a fact, and I think the club are lucky to have him, so it all stems from, from him, really. I'm not sure what it was like beforehand, but for me, he's the figurehead, and I love him, I know the lads love him, and I said it all comes from him. Excellent. Can't wait to see you about more. Damien, cheers. Thank you.